Hey, what's up, Chanel? Welcome to a new episode of Boilu, Boilu, Vlog. And today we're going to be blasting Finland's corpsest abysmal thresholds on Misako Anunjo and Dark Descent Records. I cannot wait for their new full length that's coming out. It's going to be fucking sick. Love this fucking band. I love Finnish death metal. So goddamn good. And I love this vinyl packaging. Trying not to get fingerprints all over it. But hell yeah. Sick stuff. And uh, today I want to talk about something kind of gnarly. And uh, it came by complete accident. My uh, buddy Pat Hopkins hails. Uh, he ordered me a copy of Bell Witch Mirror Reaper on cassette. I feel bad because... Uh, Caligari had them in America, but he ended up having to order it overseas through Tataris Records and um, what's the other label? Crown of Thorn Limited. Well, they put out this um, Primitive Man tape, Steel Casket, which they sent instead of two copies of Mirror Reaper, which is fine. But um, this is so fucking heavy. But, what is Steel Casket? It's all the noise and shit that was buried underneath all the riffs and everything on Primitive Man's album. So yeah, it's fucking cool in that aspect. I forget what album it is because I forget what artwork this is from, I'm sorry. I know it's not Scorn though, because that's like my favorite fucking album. I think this is from, uh, maybe Caustic? I forget whatever their new album it was called. I forget. I'm sorry, like, but Primitive Man's badass. Like, I, I love their just regular music and whatnot. But Steel Casket was kind of a little bit of a chore to make it all the way through. And I listened to it twice. And if you're saying, well, why are you reviewing it if you only listened to it twice? Because this is something that, you know, yeah, there's a lot going on and there's a lot to hear, but like, I was very impressed first off with the packaging, which is really, really well done. But I was mostly impressed with how crushing this all started out. It started out just so fucking heavy to where I just started recording my speakers and sent it to my friend and I was like, yo, listen to how heavy this is. And then like 20 some minutes went by and I remembered, I was like, oh yeah, like this is, this is just a noise release, like fuck. It's missing like a bunch of the other elements that I feel like make Primitive Man primitive man but I understand what this is you know bands do stuff like this all the time bands that actually think outside of the box and primitive man is a band that you know I can't really think of a better example other than what's what I'm holding in my hand like compare this to like one of their regular records and it's like fucking night and day because all of this shit is buried underneath their devastatingly heavy blend of sludge and doom metal. So it's awesome because a lot of doom bands do have electronics and whatnot. Sometimes they won't use them live. Like, I'm pretty sure the last time I saw Primitive Man it was electronic free. But I'm not 100%. I kind of forget if he had like a box or anything around him, if Ethan did. But if you're a fan of, you know, extreme music, like, especially bands like Pig Heart Transplant, fucking A. Steel Casket has your name written all over it. But, and even, like, fucking Sun. Like, let's say you're a fan of, like, Sun, or, like, even early Earth. Earth 2, especially. Like, some of the dronier parts here are, like, really fucking heavy, and it's awesome. 
but like I haven't really listened to an album or a project like this since Full of Hell's first collaboration with The Body, One Day You Will Ache Like I Ache. And I love that collaboration and I love how Full of Hell Live, they use those noise elements to their fucking advantage. Like, I mean, they'll do split tours with Merzbow and have him do his thing while they do theirs. And they'll like do the split live along with Sister Fawn. It's fucking great. I love how Fool of Hell does their noise shit. Fool of Hell is one of those bands that I, I love their thinking outside of the box. Because like, Fool of Hell, like, you can call them what you will, hardcore, grind, power violence, death metal. I've heard so many different genres thrown at Fool of Hell. How about just fucking experimental? That's what they are. Like, yeah, their regular records are some of the gnarliest that exist. Like, but they also think completely outside of the box. And a lot of power violence bands, you know, they really do rely on, like, power electronics and shit. Like, just look at Man is the Bastard, which, you know, bastard noise. It kind of goes hand in hand, like, power violence and noise. But Primitive Man's not a power violence band. But a lot of sludge bands, you know, they have like those kind of elements to just help make the music heavier. Same thing with Doom. A lot of Doom bands that, you know, think outside of the realms of Black Sabbath and whatnot, they normally also add some noise elements. Even bands like Spectral Voice have some power electronics on the new record. like. It's sick, but on here, this is just a massive, massive fucking slab of noise. And it's, like I said, very, you know, either cathartic, annoying, or you're just gonna fucking eat this up if you're a fan of Primitive Man. There's so much middle ground. I mean, I highly suggest at least giving it a chance like it's badass stuff but like it's not the best primitive man material obviously because like i said it's kind of like a you know companion piece the way that neurosis and uh tribes of Narote did when uh times of grace came out they um released two separate you know albums that technically were the same album just one was like all this atmospheric and noisy elements that when played together with times of grace made this complete cohesive and fucking so awesome like if you go on youtube you can listen to um the combination of tribes of Neuro and neurosis um times of grace and it's just like wow it sounds so much better than the original album in my personal opinion and i'm not sure steel casket is made to do that because the noise on here from my understanding is the noise that's on the actual album so i'm not 100 percent sure but um Fear a life of turmoil. Again, just look at this bad boy, though. Really beautiful packaging. I, I can't fucking, you know, kiss the packaging's ass enough. But just know that this is a semi-exhaustive listen. Steel Casket by Primitive Man. I'm going to give this a 6.5 out of 10. Just based on... I know this is not for everyone. And that's the only reason I'm giving it that score. Because even for myself as a fan of power electronics and like noise, I, I had a hard time at, at certain moments. I was like, alright, come on, like, let's keep this going. But it's all gravy. Steel Casket by Primitive Man. Definitely check it out. Bandcamp link will be below. Get into it. If you're a fan of Primitive Man, then... I wouldn't say it's an essential listen, but it's definitely worth your fucking time. But it might be an essential listen, I, I don't know, you know, but 
corpsest abysmal threshold this is fucking essential if you're a fan of like gorephilia crips oh yeah you're gonna find something to love about this record awesome artwork great mix just a great album especially if you're a fan of uh you know finnish death metal dark descent msuo fuck yeah and speaking of dark descent Ritual Necromancy pre-orders go up today, so be on that shit if you are interested. But in the meantime, check out Primitive Man's Steel Casket, and if it's your thing, get into it. If not, stick to us, Scorn, because that's my favorite Primitive Man album, but oh well. Anyways, hails to Pat Hopkins. Always thanks for thinking about me and total fucking support when it comes to extreme music and whatnot. Fucking hails. And thank you guys for watching. You fucking rule. Once more, infernal fucking hails. I can't because I went to the ATM machine this morning. I already took out 500.